So last week, my wife and I went on a one-day house hunting trip that fell straight out of HGTV. We toured 12 houses, like three, and felt the pressure to try to narrow it down to just one. Would we go with her preference a sleek, modern, but expensive new build? Or my hope of a fixer-upper with an indoor koi pond and fireman's pole? It was like we were starring in house hunters complete with the unrealistic demands. As we sat at a cozy cafe discussing our options, we realized that I had put in 7,000 steps my wife's 7,500. She's shorter, so maybe that's an advantage, or maybe just more thorough at the kitchen inspections. Speaking of steps, a brand new study looked at data on over 160,000 people and found that compared with just 2,000 steps a day, walking 7,000 steps was related to these health gains. 47% lower risk of dying from any cancer, 25% lower risk of developing heart disease, 38% lower dementia risk, and 22% lower depression symptoms. This supports other studies that found that meaningful health benefits begin before 10,000 steps, around 4,000 to 7,000 steps. But there's no harm in even some benefit like burning more calories with even more steps. Now, if you like to get most of your steps in a single walk, then go for it. Another recent study found greater mortality and cardiovascular benefits in people who got most of their steps in a single longer walk compared to those who accumulated the same number of steps in shorter bouts. But don't overlook the opportunities to gather steps throughout the day by parking far away taking the stairs instead of the elevator, walking while you work, or pretending you're in an HGTV House Hunters episode. The bottom line, you don't need 10,000 steps to protect your health, and you don't need to see 12 homes to realize you'll probably take the second one, the one your wife liked best. Which, for the record, I liked too, but felt the House Hunter directors would want me to pretend to hate it. Just like pretending you have to get in 10,000 steps. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.